Hey guys, welcome to this Godot dictionary tutorial where we're going to be looking at Godot dictionaries. So Godot dictionaries are basically lists with key value pairs which represent an object notation type structure in Godot. Uh, much like in Python as well, you'd have the same structure for dictionaries. We're going to be just looking at the various things you can do with uh, dictionaries in Godot and how it can be useful to uh, know how dictionaries work when working with REST APIs over the web as well. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, do so now. And if you like this video, please like below. And if you have any questions, please comment as well. So what we'll do is I've uh, started off with a blank project. I just call it Godot Dictionary Tutorial. You can call it whatever you like. And I've got a note to D and I'm just going to click here to add a script. I'm going to call this uh, dictionaries. So what we'll do is just get rid of this boilerplate uh, comments over here and then we have a nice little clean script to work with. So I'm just going to do everything in the ready function over here because then we can just run it and we can check the output over here in our console. So the very first thing you want to do is just uh, start off with knowing how to define a dictionary. So very simple var dict is what we'll call the variable and then you need to give it a key value pair. So we'll just make our key name and our value generalist programmer. And then we can go ahead and just print this to see what it looks like. So save that off and run your project. So you'll see down here, we now have generalist programmer here and we can now go ahead and also do a few things. So one, we can access this actual value by just using the dot operator and using name. So save that off and then rerun your project. So you'll see now it just has the name of generalist programmer in there. And now another way of doing this is we can use the get method, so dot get and you'll see that it takes in a key variant so we can just put in name over here and we can hit play again and you'll see it gives us the same result so another thing we can do here is we could also clear a dictionary so we can do dict.clear and now it basically won't have this name so this might fail out let's have a look and you see it just has a null value which comes back from the name key. So what we'll do here now is uh, let's get rid of this uh, clear because we don't want to clear our dictionary. We want to actually now go ahead and create a dictionary within a dictionary. So that's pretty simple. Let's just call the skills for this key and then we'll create another uh, dictionary inside there and we'll just have things like backend and we'll just call say yes generalist programmer does have backend skills uh, front end and we'll make that a yes as well and that will give us a dictionary within a dictionary so what we can do now is we can still run this just run this to see if name still works it does and if you wanted to go and get skills for backend, you could do something like this. So you could go dot skills dot backend. And you can now run that. Uh, you actually need to spell skills correctly and just reload. And you'll see that it now says yes there's back in skills so that's how you can access uh, the multiple levels of a dictionary so another thing you might want to use is something called has so we'll say has and then you could say does it have a name key and this will return a boolean so run that and you'll have a true because we do have a name could then have something like uh, last name to show you what it will do if it doesn't have it run that and you'll see it's false so you can now see how you can then check if any of this data exists in the first place and then uh, have various different uh, scenarios 
So some other things and features we want to look at is we want to look at empty. So you want to sometimes just look if your uh, list is empty or your dictionary is empty. So I'll use empty and it's going to then say false because it's not empty. If we comment this out and we create this dictionary again and we just make it a blank dictionary and we run this we will get true so you can see how you can then check if dictionaries are empty or not and that's quite simple so I'm gonna get rid of this and go back here and uncomment now I want to show you how you can actually remove an item from a dictionary so we could do for example date.erase and then we could say we want to remove the name key from our dictionary and we can then save that. So now if we say dot get name, we should technically get a null. So we get a null because that is gone now. Just print the whole dictionary out so you can see that it has actually removed it. So I reload that and you'll see it only has skills now, not the name. So next thing we want to also look at is a duplicate um, deep copies. So deep copies will just recursively go through the entire thing and create a copy for you. So very simple, you'll just do dict dot duplicate and in here you'll pass in true. Like so true lowercase and then you could set it to a var dict dict two and then we could print out dict two over here i'm going to get rid of erase because that's going to uh, make this strange so you'll see it does a full copy of our dictionary so some other things uh, we could also look at has all which is going to give us some nicer detail as well if we wanted to check a whole bunch of things so we could say it has all and we could then say we want so you need to pass an array so you want to make sure it has a name and we want to make sure that it has a skills key save that off and now it should say true so if we put in something else let's say last name which we know we don't have you will see that it's false so this is one way of just checking your data to make sure that you have everything you need before you actually start processing so you could have your if statement here saying okay if it has all these keys then do this bit of code so then the next thing you want to do is something which could be quite useful to you is to have the key names of the keys so for that we'll use the method keys and let's print that and have a look so you'll see now we have name and skills so we can tell what keys this has which is quite useful and then likewise we have something called values which will just print out the values. So we've got generalist programmer, backend, yes, frontend, yes. So why it doesn't uh, print this as just yes, yes, is because this isn't a deep value uh, algorithm. So it will only do the top level keys that you have over here, which it will get values for. And another thing you want to do is look at size sometimes you want to loop over things then you'll need the size so let's play that and you'll see that it's got two keys inside of here so it's going for name and skills so if we went and we said dot skills dot size then we should get two again because we have back end and we have front end so that's pretty simple stuff then we can do some things like comparisons. So let's do, for example, var dict two, and we'll just take dict dot duplicate, and we'll just do a shallow copy, and then we can do 
things like this, dict two double equals dict. And we can print that out. So you'll see that's false. So it doesn't have 100% uh, the correct uh, comparison between these two. If we put in true, let's see what that does. It's also false. So what you could do to try and uh, get past this is you could use a hash. So we can do dot hash, which calculates a hash based on the dictionary you have. And we could run that. And now you'll see it's true because it is now actually calculated a hash for this entire thing and a hash for this entire thing. And it now has a value. So if we print this, let's just do dict two dot hash, then you can see what it actually does. So it calculates a numeric value, which uh, represents this dictionary. So then it calculates the one of this and they are basically matching because their data is about the same. So if we did this, let's just out of interest sake, try that, see what that would do. And it is still true. So the duplication seems to be the same either way. Then uh, let's look at how we could uh, actually loop over data as well because you're going to be needing to do that as well. So to loop over this uh, key value pairs, you need to basically use the values method that we used earlier. So let's uh, create a different dictionary now, which is simpler. So let's just create a dic iterator like that. And then we'll just call name GP, create age, just make this 90, and gender, we'll just make male. Let's make this male. All right. Then what we'll do is we'll just do a four, and we'll say val in dict iterator dot values and then very simply we could just print out the val so now you'll see we'll get gp90 mail if you wanted the keys very simply you could just change this to keys and you'll then get name age gender so that's uh, how you could actually iterate over and loop over a dictionary as well and I think for now, that's basically everything you would need to be able to work with uh, Godot dictionaries. So guys, I'm going to end the tutorial here and I hope it has been useful. If it has been, please subscribe to the channel, please like below, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.